What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. I am so glad that I'm able to connect with you guys. Man, I miss y'all. But tonight, I want to talk about vision. That's right. I want to talk to y'all about vision tonight. You know, the Bible says that without vision, people perish. That without vision, people perish. And vision is all about knowing exactly what you want to do. Vision is all about knowing what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it, where you want to do it, and how you want to do it, right? Vision is being able to see it, not necessarily with your real eyes, but being able to see it in your imagination. Every successful person has a vision for their life. Every successful organization has a vision for where they want to go. Every successful company has a vision for what they want to do. Everything that is successful has a vision beforehand. And so I want to encourage you guys tonight to get a vision for your life because believe it or not, you are vulnerable. You are very vulnerable right now because you're so young and because you probably don't have a vision for your life and because you probably don't know what you want to do with your life and because you don't know what it is that you want. The text says that without vision, people perish. And so if you don't have a vision, if you don't know what you want to do, you are very vulnerable to perishing. You are vulnerable to getting in trouble. You are vulnerable to wasting your life. You are vulnerable to bad things happening because you don't have a vision. And so I want to encourage you tonight to get a vision, right? Let me break this thing down. When I was in high school, I went to Maplewood and Maplewood was in East Nashville. And this is East Nashville before it became the suburbs, right? This East Nashville was the hood and the school I went to actually was inner city, man. We had a lot of rough people <laughs> that went to my school. It's kind of crazy that I went there, but we had girls get knocked up when they were just in high school. We had people selling drugs. Like I had classmates, they would come to school for the first week and then they'd be gone for the rest of the year because they were selling drugs. I guess they had other important things to do. We, we had people... Uh, getting in gangs. We have people doing crime. Just a whole lot of crazy things that happen when you're in the inner city. But me, on the other hand, I wasn't involved with that. Why? Because I had a vision for my life. I had a vision that I wanted to be an artist. I had a vision that I wanted to make music. I had a vision that I wanted to make pop and R&B and hip hop music. And so instead of getting in trouble, instead of going into gangs, instead of doing all of this crazy stuff, I was going home after school and I was working on my craft. I was perfecting my craft. I was writing these songs, right? A lot of the songs that you guys have heard me sing on our takeover services, I was working on those songs when I was in high school, right? I had a vision for my life and it helped me not to perish when I was in high school because I knew that if I did those things, it would prevent me from fulfilling the vision that I had for my life. And so I want to encourage you guys today to get a vision for your life. You are never too young to get a vision for your life. I would actually argue that if you can get a vision for your life early, you are at an advantage, right? Things will probably work out better for you. Everybody love Beyonce, right? If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it, right? Everybody love Kobe Bryant. A lot of people, we all sing Michael Jackson. And the reason these people are so great is because they were locked in on the vision that they had for their life when they were young. And so they dedicated their lives to it. And so that's why they're so much better than everybody else. And that's why they have continued to be great after all of these years. And so I want to encourage you, you are never too young to get a vision for your life. Joseph was probably 17 years old when God gave him the vision that he was going to be a leader, that he was going to be a ruler and that his family would bow down to him, right? Jeremiah was just a prophet when God said, hey, I, I want you to be a prophet. Jeremiah was just a young dude. And God said, I want you to be a prophet. God gave him a vision for his life. And so I want to encourage you, man. You were never too young. Even Steve Harvey, he was locked in on the vision that he had for his life. He knew what he wanted to do. Even when he was in elementary school, he wrote down what he wanted to be when he grew up. He said he wanted to be on TV. He was locked in. Is it crazy now that he's on TV, right? Isn't that crazy? It's because he was locked in on the vision that he had for his life. And so I just want to encourage you guys today to get a vision for your life. Start thinking through what it is you want to do, why you have the time, why you're not in school, right? Why you have all this extra free time. Take the time to start thinking through the vision that you have for your life. What do you want to do? 
Where do you want to go? How do you want to live, right? What do you want to study when you get out of high school, right? How much money do you want to make? What career do you want to have? How much do you want to give? What do you want your relationship with God to look like? Start to think through where you want to go. Start to think through the vision that you have for your life. And then I want you to get a piece of paper and then I want you to get a pencil or a pen and I want you to start writing it down. Start writing all of this stuff down. And when you're done, I want you to share it with your parents so they can start to help you. Believe it or not, my parents bought me my first home studio and my home studio allowed me to lock in on the vision to be an artist when I was younger. And so I just want to encourage you guys tonight, lock in on the vision, write it down, take advantage of this free time. And let's link back up next week and we're going to continue to talk about vision. All right, guys, I'll see y'all next time.